Peter will be asked me to join Labour Party because he did not like the way Sududu treated me. Victor Wome, welcome to news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The Labour Party senatorial candidate for Anambra Central Zone, Senator Victor Wome, has revealed one of the reasons why the presidential candidate of a party, Peter Gregory, will be asked him to come and join Labour Party from the APGA was because he was not happy about the way he was treated by the current Anambra State Governor, Chukwu Masoludu. Ume has accused Soludo of denying him the opportunity to pick the Afghan senatorial ticket because Soludo claimed he disqualified him for the governorship in 2013. Speaking on why Peter Obi asked him to join the Labour Party in an audio interview, Senator Ume said, Peter, after 10 years of being in opposite camps, called me and asked me to come over. He said he didn't find the treatment I received from the present governor acceptable and asked me to come and let us play again. He knew my strength and I knew his strength. In a conversation that lasted about an hour and a half on the 29th of May, Peter told me that things have gone bad because people separated the two of us, that if I had been together, the state and embrace would not have gone through some turbulence it went through in the past 10 years. Mm, well, I don't know this issue, this news now, I don't know. I don't know where to classify it under, if you ask me. I don't know where to classify it under, if you ask me. So I, I'm asking myself, okay, him coming out to give us this piece of information, what exactly, what exactly is the, what exactly is stimulated? Because I, I, I would want to believe that he did not just come out and start saying this, you know, he did not just come out and start saying this. But one thing I could pick for there was that he said, you know, he Peter B knows his strength, and he knows Peter B's strength. But like I said, I would really want to dig in to find out more what to give rise to this particular, you know, specifically coming out of Apga to come to Labour Party and all that and all that. Was there an accusation coming in, you know? What exactly was the motive of this particular news? What exactly was the motive? And what struck me again in the news was, was the part where he said, you know, so you do you not give him the ticket because he did not support you know I was you did not give him the ticket he was seeking for because he did not support him and I'm like I don't understand you know what we practice in Nigeria there is no way you won't tell me it is not quality of I mean politics of bitterness that is why we hear people say politics is a very dirty game I'm telling you because you know if somebody married her role. I'm just saying, for instance, if somebody marries a girl, why would the person not be given a ticket? Why? Hmm. And this one that turned a bit to his end because he joined the Labour Party, laughing in Swahili. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're trying to say here that it's as old as you are, you can't think for yourself. Had it been Peter B, did not call you, you received in Abga where you claimed you're being ill treated by a man, you were part and parcel of his emergence as an Anambra governor. Nigerian politics has a peculiar way of making a man people think is re relevant, irrelevant, and cowardly. I don't know. <laughs> In fact, I'm, I'm just asking myself, okay, this particular part of the news, this, they crafted out now. They didn't give us the full news because, like I said, I know this is coming from somewhere. And this is also going somewhere. They did not just come out and this is all the discussion they had. What exactly led to it? No, if you read the news very well, so I don't misquote him. Hmm? I don't misquote him. He said... Ume has accused Soludo of denying him to pick the Afghan senatorial ticket because Soludo claimed he disqualified him for governorship in 2013. No, this happened in 2013, not even this recent one. Ha! Now, why? Politics is indeed a very dirty game. What is Victor Ume looking for again? He has been a senator, Afghan chairman till the recent, and now moved to the Labour Party, hoping that will be popularity will give him victory. Well, this may happen because that was how some nuisance won the election in 2015 because of Sai Baba. <laughs> okay. Um, you are right there. Okay, this is not the right This is not the right time to make this confession. You see, you see, because like I said, something may have caused this to come out. You are right there. Please let the focus so that our distractors will not rejoice about us. Only if you can be obedient and focus, victory will be asked. 
Okay. Peter was right again, and as usual, the very stone rejected by the builders has and will be become the chief kind of stone. Ojuku Ome and all that mattered in Africa have joined Peter being Labour Party, and once again, it has found satisfaction in great leadership. But they are just cannot no seek in the hands of political pirates. <laughs> okay. Ome has nothing to offer. It's a disgrace to him, and so do it is a disgrace to him and saluted with much jealousy in the BS president. It's shocking to them because they're trying everything to play the wicked politics. I mean, stomach politics to be deceiving the people. Shame on them. Well, if you ask me this news, oh, it is distract. Because like I said, I'm looking for pieces of it. But the only thing that struck me, like I said, was, you know, Saludo disqualify him because he did not support him. How did he come to that? Or oh, he just imagined that. Because I would need to know, how did you come to know that, okay, he did not give you his support because, or did you ask him? Did you ask him this question? What about now? What about now he's the president? He's the governor of Fernanda State. All right. Is this to employ the sympathy of the B movement? Certainly, I would say it is absolutely ignorance. We will be that the divine mission is strictly focused and not for greedy and self-government and self-centered politician. Now, this, I am proud of what a lot of us are saying here. This is what I would say to us. Now, you supporting a particular political party for presidency does not mean it should be the same. I've been saying this for a long time. It, should, it does not mean it should be the same, you know, like that. For governorship and for senator and for um, local government chairman, for councillorship, mm. house of rep member, state house, national house. No, it should not be so. It should be you've seen the person who you're supporting for presidency. You've seen his character. You've seen him, he's competent, he's credible, he's somebody who can really sleep, can get things done, you know, when they're supposed to be done. He's the kind of person that he gives you work to do, and he also d follows through with you. And he knows, because of that kind of person he is, you know, he knows that if you're really working or not. And then you find out that, oh, maybe the governorship candidate for your state, for let's say Liberal Party, is not the same. I'm just using this as a scenario. Then you go for somebody who is competent and credible. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So we should not even limit ourselves to political parties. So this is who I'm going to be supporting for this. And um, oh, this is the party I'm going to be supporting. I feel you have the right to to choose, you know, from other political parties as well. The main aim is picking people who are really going to come in and do their job. Do you understand? Picking people who are really going to come in to do their job. And then so that when they really come in, they do their job and Nigeria... Is going to get better in no distant time. All right, and this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning into the.